Women ahead, say, Ocho. women say, I ain't going 50 50 with nobody. Well, if you ain't going 50 50, that means you're going 100 percent. So you're playing everything <laughs> on your goddamn own anyway. It ain't making Thank no you. sense. But you got to understand the chances of you, the yeah. likelihood of you getting the guy that can afford the maintenance for everything you need and all your bills. But it's not likely. And if you do have a guy that does that, it's going to be short lived anyway, because you yeah. have no leverage at that point. If he's doing everything for you, yeah, you have no leverage. You have no power. You got to be able to bring you got to be bringing some to the table. You're nothing but a liability at that point. There's no you have no leverage no more. Damn, Chad. Preach, brother. Preach. Welcome back to Richie Rich Abroad. I'm your host, Richie Rich, with a great video for you. Bringing to you a video with Chad Ochocinco and Shannon Sharp. If you don't know who they are, both NFL Hall of Famers, both multimillionaires, and God damn it, if they won't do it, I ain't doing it either. Let's get into the video, but before we do, make sure you hit the like button, the comment button, and the notification button to make sure you get our next videos as soon as it pops off. No more words. Let's get into the video. Ching, go ahead and hit the intro and let's go. Little by trike. Here we go. A woman goes viral for sharing a list of things that women need for maintenance. Can you see it? Hey, you got whoa, whoa, oh heck. See what I'm talking about? Come she on, need, oh, let, let me read it to the people that can't see at home. Come on, she man. She says she needs $60 for waxing. She needs between $75 and $130 for her nail and toes. She needs between $80 and $400 for her hair. She needs $60 between $60 and $150 for facial. She needs between $12 and $30 for her brows. She needs between $80 and $120 for her lashes. She say, guys, that $100 y'all trying to send, that ain't good enough, sir. That's ridiculous. Because if you <laughs> add up... If <laughs> Tell Ash, do me a favor. Tell Ash to tell me how much that is right there real quick. But if you think about it. Tell okay, Ash we're going to do the high end. 190, 190, 590, uh, 740, 770, uh -huh. uh, 890. So at least she's an upgrade from the woman in the last video who was needing two grand a month for her upkeep. So I guess this woman is an upgrade? Really? Anyway, let's let him cook. That's about a thousand that's almost that's almost a thousand dollars a month. So think about that. Every it's 12 months in a year. Every two weeks she needs a thousand dollars. Now so that's two thousand a month. That's twenty four, that's twenty four grand a year. That's twenty four thousand dollars a year. And I'm gonna send you a W two for him. Uh, I'm sending this, you a W two. In this economy, women have to be realistic. There's a very small percentage of men that 2,000 ain't nothing. A very small percentage. The yeah. chances of you landing one of those in the 1% is slim to none. You got to be realistic. But you could be a side chick. With those requirements, you have almost zero chance of getting that kind of man who's going to give you that kind of money just for your upkeep. But you can always be a side chick. But what Everybody about, not finna be getting no millionaire. Side check. What about uh what about I don't need no man? I make my own money. What well, am I? What is, I, I, hold well, on? Well, well, hold on. The ones that if they if if they make their own money, if they if they make their own money, then this wouldn't be an issue because this is part of your own maintenance. This is part of your own upkeep. This is the basic necessities to survive and look good. That's yeah. this ain't nothing but f hygiene. Are you, are you gonna pay for it? I'm gonna get that thing waxed. Are you gonna keep? <laughs> I don't want you. I don't want you to look like you got buck weak in the leg lock. You know you have baby got an afro. Get, I listen. need you to fade it up, trim it up. You know, get a full man chew or something. Uh, listen, you got then you can you get a, you get a set of razors from Walgreens or CVS. Nah, man, that thing be man, that thing be looking like Nestle Crunch down there, man. Come. I have trimmed many a bush because remember, remember, folks, I lived in China for eight years. And those women in China really pride themselves on, let's just say, growing their hair long. On growing long hair. 
Oh, I got that, Ocho. I need hardwood floors. I need hardwood floors. I don't need no carpet. Man, I'm not paying for your nails, your hair. I do all that. You let me know. I give you a schedule. You tell me when you're free. I got you. You need to wax? Boom. I wax her. Mm-mm. I do that. When it's time for you to get her nails and I ain't got no Ocho. I do hey. that. I, I ain't really down with the scorched earth policy. I, I, I do like something, something, you know, something that says I'm a woman down there. Look, sometimes you got to do some trimming. You got to do some upkeep, but I don't want to pay for it. Look, I, I'll buy you some scissors. You can even use my clippers. <laughs> but as far as giving you a thousand dollars every two weeks, come on now. That's not going to happen. Who's doing that? Women Go ahead, say, Ocho. women say, I ain't going 50 50 with nobody. Well, if you ain't going 50 50, that means you're going 100 percent. So you're playing everything <laughs> on your goddamn own anyway. It ain't making Thank no you. sense. But you got to understand the chances of you, the yeah. likelihood of you getting a guy that can afford the maintenance for everything you need and all your bills. But it's not likely. And if you do have a guy that does that, it's going to be short lived anyway. Because you yeah. have no leverage at that point if he's doing everything for you. Yeah. You have no leverage. You have no power. You got to be able to bring, you got to be bringing some to the table. You're nothing but a liability at that point. There's no, you have no leverage no more. If he's doing everything for you, but you're doing almost nothing for him, why does he need you? How long is it going to be if he's a high value man or a man of any kind of stature or value? He's going to quickly figure out. Why does he need you if he's getting if he's getting almost no return on his investment? Why wouldn't he go out and find somebody else that he could get a higher yield from his investment? Some some women think because I'm so fine, I'm a dime, I'm a baddie, I, well, I'm a city girl. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and, um, sh- shit, boy, yeah. it's, it's a thousand yous, man. It's a, it's a thousand of you. You are just another bill. You're an added expense. Depending on who the guy is, I mean, you yeah. But the average guy, unless unless that guy a professional athlete or he I, or he got some some major paper. I mean, the average guy. Yeah, I mean, you got to understand because here's the thing, Ocho. Let's just say for the sake of argument, if he if he can afford to do this every two weeks, he's gonna be need to make it about. He gonna be make, making mid six figures. Yeah, to yeah. have a twenty four thousand dollar bill yeah. that he can't write off. Six figures. Well, you got to be making more than six figures. No, but I'm just saying he has to make at least that. Oh, because yeah. Because he can't write this off. This is not a deduction. So you are literally a liability. That's all you are. You are a walking bill, a twenty four thousand dollar a year bill. And you are wanting him to spend twenty five thousand of it on you. Oh, hell no. How many people you think in the USA make 155, at least 150,000? I think people have a false sense of reality, especially when it comes to finances and money, uh, because everyone looks the par. Everyone looks like everyone looks rich. Everyone drives yeah. something nice. <laughs> now, social down, media got it, people thinking everybody rich. Hey, listen, Unc, when it comes down to it, hey, that, it, it ain't what you think it is. Uh-huh. And, it ain't never what you think it is. Again, we have to yeah. have a sense of reality. A you got to be realistic reality. now. Got to be realistic. They're not realistic. They watch this stupid ass shit on social media and they believe they should have what they think these women on social media have. But it's all an act. It's all an act to get likes, period. You women are getting suckered. Figure it out, ladies. Figure it out because these men aren't going to be doing this for you. There are so few men who have the capability of doing all of this stuff for you. And even if he did, why should a man do for you what you should be doing for your damn self? Answer me that. And, and some, 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 they'd love to say, oh, I'm not going to settle. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what is it about you that makes you so special from the other 100,000 women that are also searching for that wealthy man? That think they're special. That think they're special. Oh, I got ass. Okay, who don't? There are a lot of them. <laughs> Man, oh, I'm pretty. Oh, I'm you, a baddie. Go oh, to your explore page. A bunch of them too. And you got to be able to carry your own weight, baby. But see, th- listen, listen. If you got ass and you're fine and you're baddie, that'll get you a man. You can always be a side chick. 
Hey, you know, you know what they do at the beginning at the beginning. Oh, they're going to do whatever you want to reel you in. And then they realize, well, damn, that's it. There's nothing else left outside of what you're advertising. There's no more substance after that, after the ad. OK, I didn't hit now. OK, what's next? Yeah, okay, yeah. I, didn't hit, I didn't hit a few times. But God damn, that's it. And then you start realizing, well, I'm not getting nothing in return for the money that I'm investing yeah, yeah. In outside of that ass. What? All right, now. Nah. And you just keep you keep on you keep on rotating and rotating until you find one and it sticks. This is the modern dating world. Is you have to shuffle through the women. You got to vet. You got to keep vetting. And you're gonna take her out on a date, and she's gonna complain about going to Starbucks or going to the Cheesecake Factory. So you can't go out with her again. She might have been fine, but you can't go out with her again because you know she's gonna be a headache. You take the next woman out. She wants her nails done. She wants you to do her to take care of her hair. She wants you to buy this, buy that. Can't go out with her again. She wants you to buy everything. Very carefully. They're out there. They're out there. They're, they're just few and far between, but they are out there. And if you can't find one there, come on over here. Come on out to the Philippines and the big bad booty daddy, Richie Rich, will take care of you. Come on. So now. how are we going to do this? Let's have real talk. You want to have real talk since you wanted to say, well, Shannon, yeah, uh, somebody, you, your value. You don't set the market on your value. The market sets the market. Ooh. You're, Ocho, I want to sell this cup. I want to sell this red solo cup with water right. for right. $15. Okay. Nah, ain't nobody say that. If somebody gave me $15, that's what it's worth. Something is only worth what someone is willing to willing pay to for. Pay. So the moral of this is you think you, you might think you're a 10. You might think you're a 10. But if nobody's trying to get at you, if nobody's trying to holler at you, if nobody's putting you on their arm, you ain't a 10. You are not a 10. You can believe whatever you want, but the market will tell you the truth. And the truth will set you free. But y'all need to stop, ladies. Y'all need to stop this. I know my value. Who said that value? Oh, the market? Fred Shannon. Y'all can get up here and you stand on your soapbox and talk about I'm fine and I okay. Okay. But Come if on. you're not if you can't find a man that's willing to do that, that's not your value. Mm. But you don't get to determine that what someone is willing to pay. That's the your, value. That's your value. You do have some determination in what the and how the market looks at you. So I disagree a little bit. I hear what they're saying for sure. But you do have some kind of say in how the market looks at you and how the market values you. How do you carry yourself? How do you dress? What comes out of your mouth? How do you behave? All of these things. What do you look like? All of these things determine how the market looks at you and the value they set. There's a video that's going viral from Joy Taylor and Taylor Rooks podcast Too personal. Let's take a look. Let's take a listen to what they had to say. The splitting the bill conversation. Do we pay for the men? When do we pay for the men? A friend of mine was on her dating journey and she went out with a man twice. He paid for everything, wined and dined. On the third date, they spent a day together, ordered a bunch of things, had some drinks, had a good time. Let's call it a couple hundred dollars. She had to put her card down for this particular place. So when they went to pay, he was like, oh, you know, your card is down. And now she didn't speak up and ended up paying for the bill. They had plans for another date. He texted her the next day and was like, I don't really see a long-term future with you. I don't really want to waste either of our times. I think you're mm -hmm. great, but I don't want to keep our date for next week that we had plans. Respect. I mean, he came, he came straight up. He was direct straight to the point look i don't see it happening i think it's very respectable most people just ghost so she's talking to me about it and she's like but he did stick me with the bill i was like what are you talking about stuck you with the bill how did you leave pain i was like just text him and say oh okay well cool thank you for saying that had a great time too but like here's your split for saturday there's no possible way he thinks that she's just paying for his presence he got upset did not send her the split and in fact, went and sent her the receipts for the last two dates. <laughs> As he should have. What do you think? She's not paying for his presence. Isn't that what you guys think we're doing for you? Paying for your presence? I, I am the table? Yeah, Ocho. Oh. So let me get this straight. Ooh. He pays for both two. Yes, sir. 
nothing. She don't she don't chime in. Yeah. She didn't speak up. But mm-hmm. now, oh, I stuck him for two bills. He stuck me for one. Now right. we need to go 50 50. He paid for the first two dates. She paid for the third date. Yeah. He no longer, he doesn't see anything long term coming of it. Right, right, he says, right. you know what? I don't want to waste any of your time. More importantly, importantly right. I don't want to waste my time. So it was great, but I no longer want to, you know, have, okay, fine. But he, he stuck me, but you stuck it with the first two. Yeah. And you ain't have no problem with that. Come on, ladies. I mean, I know you, she got a little butter because he didn't want to see her no more. But look, that's, that's life. That's dating in the 21st century. It's just what it is now. Look, people got to get over their egos. If you don't have something of value to offer a man in exchange, it will need to be more than just your good looks. If you don't have something of value to offer a man, you are going to get left. Rest assured he is going to leave you. Rest assured he will be looking for someone else to replace you. If you're with a man of value, if you're with a man who can offer you the things that you want, rest assured there are other women who are also looking at that man and who would gladly take that man in your stead. You're dating someone, there's a three date minimum. After the third date, you know whether you want to deal with this person long term or if you see a future with them. He didn't see a future. That's yeah. okay. And if it was just a couple of hundred dollars, I mean, you really shouldn't need that back anyway. And if you need a couple of hundred dollars back on a date, that means you shouldn't you don't need, need to be in on the first date. Place. You don't need to be on no date. You don't need to be dating. That's, that's real, dude. I mean, again, if you can't put in what you're expecting a man to put in, then what are you doing? You have to be able to put in, you need to be able to match his efforts with something of equal value. With something of equal value. It could be monetary. It could be effort. It could be time. It could be something. It could be something else. I'm just saying, you better be able to bring something of equal value to the table and not just once, but as long as he's bringing it, you need to bring it too. Right. So, so this notion, let's go to Europe and let's go to that. That ain't do what? To impress you? Go no, that who? ain't me. Wait, go where? That was it. The Europe? Hey, dudes do that? They meet somebody and fly them to Europe? I guess. Yeah, shit me. Man, look here, man. I ain't got it like that. I got it. I ain't got you. I ain't gonna get I ain't I ain't got it. I ain't, no 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 hell no. But at some point we have to be realistic. At some yeah. point we have to stop saying I'm not gonna settle. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to at some point. You say, well, I'm going to find a man that's going to do it. Well, you might find a man that's going to do it, but it's not going to be the one you want. So basically what you're right. doing is you're settling. You're settling. Everybody, you're settling. Because what's the likelihood of you finding ex- somebody that has every quality that you want? It ain't. Because if you don't, you settle. You gave up a little personality for a little bit more security. Mm. That's real. <laughs> that's real. I mean, you, whether you're a man or a woman, you're not going to get everything you want. I, I, my rule, my own rule is if you can get 80% of what you want out of somebody, you might want to think twice about letting her go. Life is about compromise. Life is all about compromise. You're going to have to give up something to get something. That's life. And some of you, you hear so many women, oh, I ain't settling. Why are you so damn special? You're not. You're not. You just think you are. You're going to learn today. You just think you are. Now, listen, you got to read the fine print and not go into things delusional. Now, you want to date a rich man. You want a man with money. You understand what comes with the territory when dealing with that type. So, hello, common sense. It's always been the same. The game has always been the game. Don't yeah. come in delusional. You here for one reason. Why you want a rich man? Why you want a man that got money in the first place? But I thought you, I thought you were independent. You make your own money. Shit, not that kind you of money. You tell me you bought your they own they money. Don't, they don't make I that kind of money. I bought this car. I got this condo. I get my hair and nails done. No. But I sure wish you take that papers up off me. No. No, they don't make that kind of money. When it comes to buying the Range Rovers, the houses, the jewelry, the cars, the Chanel bags, the Tom Ford heels, the high end, the designer. No, that comes from the nah. guy. They Your last name need to be sharp for you to get that kind of money up out of me. I heard that. Uh, I'm the I'm the same when it comes to that. If you're trying to get that kind of stuff out of me, 
we need to have the same last name. That's the only way. And then we're going to have to have a sit down and talk about it. She wanted, she paid for one date. Uh -huh. He paid for two dates. Right. And she wanted 50 50 after he said, I don't see a future with you. Yeah, I'm confused. You mess around and get the you mess around and get the wrong one. You'll be a whole lot better without her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it happens. Shout out to Chad Ocho Cinco and Shannon Sharp. Look, I, I'm telling you, you have two multi millionaires, two men with incredible clout. Since one of them is a Hall of Famer, one is on right on the outside of the Hall of Fame. These are two men who have a whole lot of money, a whole lot of clout. A whole lot of women would love to be with men like this. And let me tell you, if they ain't spending that kind of money, I'll be goddamned. I will be damned if I spend that kind of money on a woman, period. She ain't spending that kind of money on me, and I don't expect her to. So look, it's not coming back. But look, I'll take care of the mortgage. I'll take care of the food. I'll take care of the lights. I'll take care of the car. I'll take care of our expenses. But all that extra stuff, look, you got to get a job, period. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought about the video. These two cats are kind of funny, actually. I've watched a few videos of theirs. I'll leave the link in my description below so you can check out the full link video. Don't forget if you like this video. I got a whole bunch of other videos that you're going to like, too. Go ahead and check those out. I know you're going to like them. This is Richie Rich for Richie Rich Abroad. Until my next video, deuces.